Hi everyone, Simon here. I wanted to talk today about our beliefs around alcohol. Before I quit drinking, I had a huge internal conflict going on in my mind. My subconscious mind was saying to me, Simon, have a drink today. It's what you've done every day for 20 years. It's what eases your anxiety. It's what makes life fun. It's what you do. Yet my conscious mind, where I'd started reading sober books, joining sober groups and reading blogs, had started saying to me, Simon, this isn't serving you well. This isn't easing of your anxiety. This is bad for your health. And the two parts of my mind were at war with each other. Um, and it's not a great place to be. It's not a comfortable place to be. So I worked on getting the two in harmony with each other, which in essence is changing your mindset about drinking. And once you can do that and get both of them on the same page and march into the same beat, you'll find you're in a great place to go forward on the sober journey. Now, one of the exercises I did with, to work on this is called the ACT process, A-C-T. The first part is A for awareness, and it's all about becoming aware of your beliefs around alcohol. So a great example would be, I can't go to a party without drinking, it won't be fun. Or I drink because it eases my anxiety. So if you wanted to do the exercise, grab a pen and paper and write down all your current beliefs around alcohol. Then the C is to get clarity on those beliefs. So are those beliefs actually true? Can you go to a party? without drinking and still have fun? Have you ever been to one? Do you even know that? Have you got any evidence? Are hangovers fun? Is having a fight with your best friend because you were both paralytic fun? No. So write out all the truth and the clarity and get clarity on those beliefs. And you'll probably find you get a pretty big list of all the whys and the reasons that, that you can then look at. The T is then the turnaround. So with all the evidence, you need to look at it and go, so is this belief actually serving me? Is it helping me? And most importantly, is the belief true? Does it still hold true? And a great step is to then write out the original statement. For example, I can't go to a party without drinking, it won't be fun. The, in the opposite way, right? The complete opposite, which is I can go to a party without drinking and still have fun. And then see if that belief holds true based on everything that you've written. You need to be a bit like a jury in a court case, write all the evidence out, analyze it, and then make a decision around your beliefs. And you will probably find that actually what you believe about alcohol in the first place is not the truth when you look at all the evidence. And by doing that, you can, you can um, steal your subconscious mind and get, try and work on getting the two of them in harmony with each other. So it's only a short video just to sort of introduce this process as an exercise, but it really, really worked well for me. And it was a fantastic way of getting the subconscious and conscious in harmony and aligned with each other. And I think that's been such an important part on my own sober journey because nobody wants to white knuckle it. Nobody wants to be thinking about drinking all the time. We want to make the decision, decision to go sober, change our mindset and get on with our lives. And the ACT process is a great way of doing it. So awareness, clarity, turnaround. Perhaps work on it, do the exercise. If there's any questions or comments, I'm happy to answer them. Um, and I, I hope it helps and have a great day.